Good evening. If I were smart, I'd go home now. Uh, this is West Michigan's Morning News. Steve Kelly, Brett Keita, Lauren Smith, President Biden's third State of the Union address. As you may have guessed, reaction is uh, divided among party lines on the live line, representing those in the uh, grand old party here in West Michigan, representing Michigan's fourth U.S. District Congressman Bill Heisinger. Thanks for doing this this morning. Hey, good to be with you. And I do think that was his best line of the entire speech. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, the... Uh, you mentioned well, no, in all Go ahead. look in all seriousness, there was two times that the entire place stood up and 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 applauded. Uh, well, three: one when he walked in, uh, two uh, when he mentioned the great uh, uh, civil rights icon John Lewis, uh, and then it devolved into politics. And the third was when he uh, mentioned that he was going to be doing everything he possibly could to get the uh, hostages in Israel released from Hamas. And beyond that, it was, well, the, the Washington Post calls it a fervent Biden takes on, on Trump GOP. Uh, I heard feisty. I heard all kinds of stuff. I was hearing more, uh, more defensiveness and anger, but it, I thought it was to a very narrow, uh, a, a narrow audience, frankly. I don't think this was a you know, bright, shining city on a hill kind of Reagan-esque speech, that's for sure. One of the things that Republicans have been the most critical, well, two, uh, the economy and, of course, the border, which is uh, a big deal right now. The president did address the border last night, but put it back on Congress. How was that received? Uh, well, uh, my, my friends on the other side of the aisle thought, yes, that's awesome. Uh, well, guess what? His, his own, as he's describing in his own negotiated bipartisan Senate bill, can't pass the Senate. So that's a problem. The House has uh, has passed our HR two, which I understand is probably not going to survive in uh, in totality. But whatever he has been doing uh, has been encouraging people to come uh, without proper documentation, uh, and we have massive, massive problems. And I'm glad he and the vice president are finally coming to that realization. Uh, but we have got to do something much more dramatic. And if there is something like a remain in Mexico policy uh, reinstated, there's estimates that that would stem the flow by 70 percent. These are co uh, uh, Customs and Border Patrol numbers and estimates. Um, so, uh, but he has no willingness to do that. And so instead, they're hiding the numbers. They're, they're, they have these secret flights going around all over the country. They're trying to they literally are pulling uh, Customs and Border Patrol agents from our northern border and getting them down to the southern border. Um, it, it's a mess down there. Congressman, with all seriousness, I, I had to ask this question because I listened on the radio coming back from my high school game last night. I watched on TV, and I just think this format has gotten old. Uh, it's gotten long, uh, and, and I really wanted to get your opinion on, do we need to change the format Per what you're kind of talking about too, and this is nonpartisan of the State of the Union, keeping yeah. it in a time frame. I mean, I, I was saying to Steve, I said, "Hey, we got a pitch clock. Do we need a clap clock?" But I was just <laughs> kidding. In the fact of seriously, I, I think because you lose people. Do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah. There, there is something. You know, uh, back before radio, uh, and really it was FDR that uh, that kicked this off. Um, the the State of the Union uh, address was a letter that was mailed to Congress, mm. uh, and I'm not kidding. I mean, it wasn't that this it, it's this has become like the Super Bowl of, for political nerds, you know, coming in and 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 having the State of the Union, and it's become far more of a uh, of a show than it has been any kind of policy uh, uh, policy discussion or or agenda setting. I mean, that's if, if you look at how uh, uh, oftentimes it's been dealt with in the past, it's like a, here's a discussion of the state of the union, here's a discussion of where I want to go, and here are the policies that I would like to implement. And it wasn't just this laundry list of all the things uh, that I'd like to do, which he kind of hit at the end, but um, you know, he, he literally started out, and I wrote this down, he, he, he said, just like FDR, he was here to quote, wake up Congress. Well, I mean, there's a few things that I think if you look at the economy and his, his view that when he said that America is safer today than it was when he came into office, um, I think there's a little wake-up call that needs to happen, but it's at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That is Congressman Bill Heisinger uh, representing Michigan's fourth. Thank you for your time today.